they bad. Yeah. Uh. First of the month, I'm a running back. Hey. Same day, why I'm a running back. Yeah. Friday, payday, running back. Hey. Running back, running back, running back. Ooh. 48 yards, I run it back. Hey. I cop a car, I run it back. Yeah. Go your uh. ups and run it back. Uh. Running back, running back, running back. Hello? That's the tag calling. Talk it. Let me click over real quick to let my tag talk it. Talk it. I eat it. Ooh. Way to stretch. You don't make no clap back when you rap pack my bad, but I'm past that. But an ass back, that's cash. When the money fall, I'ma slap that. Clap when the money go, you don't slap. That's facts. If the money low, I'ma grab. Proud man, when it come back, I'ma give back my bad. When the check hit, the direct hit. I'm glad when the check missed, the direct hit. I'm sad like, who's that knocking at my window? My window. They say that it's the money. I'm like tenfold. That's gonna make you thug like a limbo. She said she not a she and. Okay, Coach, so normally thoughts turn to basketball this time of year in the Hoosier State, but not so this year. The NFL playoffs have come to Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Today we continue on in Wild Card Weekend with a great AFC matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Indianapolis Colts. The battle for the Lamar Hunt Trophy begins. up in it after a gain of two out to the 27. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen did not let him get downfield. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. If that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Brings up second and two at the 46-yard line. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. I got him, I got him. Watch quick. Topper, topper. Second and two. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They were trying to liven up this playoff game very early on. Pretty deep throw, but good coverage. I think they were counting on the defenders being a little tight, a little over-anxious early, and trying to catch them flat-footed and get a big play. Hey, lock it! Get it ready! They'll try and run for this with Mack. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, mm -hmm. aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized on, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Go on, go on. Out, on first down, they'll stay with Mack on the ground. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to 
make plays on the edge. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. A gain of three, second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, it's Mack. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing lead. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. And he takes it in for a Colts score. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Colts take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Joseph now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Just like that. Hey, orbit. Get it. The former second round pick. This is Joe Mixon. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Two yards, good enough for a first. And what a weapon to have when you can use your quarterback as a short yardage runner and pick up first downs. Mixon with a first down carry. And three yards there takes him to the 45. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Here's a second and seven. Dumps it off to Mixon. It'll be a gain of four, and they're going to have a third down. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Subsequent gains of three, four, and now five yards. Good enough for the first down. Throwing on first down. Kruger firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second and four. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On third down, Mixon, and he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. After one, Let's seven go. nothing on EA Sports. On first and ten, Kruger. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. 
And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. D.D. Westbrook, 34 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's coming. Agreed. Blitz coming and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Back to throw. McCollum looking for Campbell downfield. This is intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. On first down, Kruger. Amaro's got it, left side. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants made me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Go, go. Off play action. McCollum going for Hilton and it's intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys were picking it off. They're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? 
Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Freeman again, a first down carry. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? On third down, a run by Matt. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. That'll bring up fourth down after back-to-back-to-back three-yard pickups. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Bengals will get it at the 20. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked Go to something else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. It'll be a pickup of 15. It's had a lead to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he will have the first down, but he winds up taking a pretty good shot that time. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To throw again. Kruger. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 19 yards there on the catch and run. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five. The open man is Westbrook. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 18. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Buying time to his left. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this one is right through. 
So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Looking to throw. Kruger, and he completes it to Westbrook. Give him 17 at a Cincinnati first down. Throwing on first down. Kruger. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Rocky Sin. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. 54, right there, right there. 54, five. On first and 10, McCollum. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also moved the sticks. On first down, Mack. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give the Colts 13 yards at a first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Hey, Zoom! Get that quarterback, D-line! D-line, get that Here's second and eight. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide-open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And he's got his man, Hilton. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. It's caught by Funches. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Devin Funches. 28 yards as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. The extra point splits the uprights and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Joseph now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Ready? 
The Bengals drive about to get going. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. 70, Indy. This one out quickly to Westbrook. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. They'll run on first down. Mixon. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Looking to throw on second down. Kruger, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And he's got one. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at the 26. That good for 19 and a first down. On first down, Huntley. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, Kruger. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Darius Leonard, the linebacker. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Staying on the ground with Mack. And he'll be taken down well behind the line, and I think he might have just given those four yards right back. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 30. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Freeman. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. 
Second and three. Ebron with it over the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. This quarterback now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll go again here with Matt. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. On third down, McCollum. Got an open man. That's Campbell. First catch of this wild card game for a thousand yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. Hey, Charlie! First down, Jen, at the 40 yard line. The retire. Alert, alert. Three down, three down. On first down, McCollum. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. He's going to go deep for Funches. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. But now it's third down. The Colts on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and 17. Operating from the gun. McCollum. And he connects with Ebron. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 26. They'll run on first down. It's Mack. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then drop just inside of the 20. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They go right back to Mack. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. The kick by Joseph is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. The Bengals' drive about to get going. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. 
And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, Mixon. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Again, it's Mixon. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. From the gun on third down, Kruger. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now the Colts are going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. 57. Mike, 57. Tackles, tackles. 25, check 25, check 25. Off the play fade. McCollum. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. 27 yards there, a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Army, Army. 57 to Mike. Bravo. 57 to Mike. It's been a long day for you. 57. Come. Come. Throwing on third and long. McCollum. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. I get and appreciate that they wanted to go for the win, not play for overtime, but that's the cost right there. Not so sure their fans feel the same way as you when they just watch that ball get picked and taken the other way, and now they're down six. Looks like it's going to be a loss for them, an absolute catastrophe when they tried to be aggressive. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 20. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. The Bengals drive about to get going. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Yeah, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Brings up second and 11 at the 42-yard line. Today's final... 
And Charles, on the losing side of things, you know, they didn't come in here as the favorite to these playoffs, but they came in with a lot of hope and anticipation. Tough to have that all snuffed out so quickly. It really is. You're one of 12 teams when the playoffs begin that still has a chance to win the Super Bowl. So that's pretty darn good. And as you often talk about, a lot of hope when the playoffs start. Well, that ended for them. But when they look back, they'll have a lot to be proud of and see if they turn the page towards the next season. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.